today we will we will be learning about adding mixed numbers we're on 9.11 and we will be on page 234 all right so adding mixed numbers is sort of just like adding plain fractions but first and foremost we need to find a common denominator so the first thing we need to do find common denominator cd common denominator so i'm going to look at the problem i already have a problem up here for you five and three fourths plus two and a half so my first step is find the common denominator the denominator if you don't remember guys is this bottom number we have to figure out what number they both have in common remember last time i gave you a tip that you can multiply them together to get a common denominator but if you look at this problem it already has the common denominator because i know two indeed can go into four so this one is going to stay the same so i'm gonna move my problem over here so this whole fraction itself since i do not have to change the denominator it's going to stay the same so i'm going to move him over here now if i'm going to use four as my common denominator what number times two equals four two so i'm going to multiply right here and whenever i do to the bottom i have to do the top i have to do it to the numerator as well so i'm also going to multiply by two now i'm going to move this fraction with my new numerator and my new d d denominator to this side. So I'm going to move her over here. So I have two and then two times two, four for my denominator. One times two, two. And we can't forget our plus sign. So now we add. We add our whole numbers first. Two. Five and two is seven. Then I add my numerators. Five plus two is, or sorry, three plus two is five. And then our numerators stay the same. Okay, so our first step was find the common denominator. Then we add, or really, we multiply, sorry guys. We multiply the denominator and numerator, which is what I did up here. My step two is what I did here. I try to find out what two times, what number equals the common denominator that I picked out. And then third, we add. But our denominator stays the same. Now, if you look at our answer, we got seven and five fourths. Five fourths is a is an improper fraction so we have to change that to a mixed number so we're gonna leave the seven alone for right now they're just gonna chill up there okay but we're gonna practice we're gonna work on this now do you remember how to change an improper fraction to a mixed number we watched a funny video on it Kind of, you guys didn't like it, but it was a jingle. The numerator becomes the dividend. We just divide. So four divided by five. The numerator became my dividend. Four times five 
one. One times four, or four can go into five, sorry, one time. One times four, four. Now, instead of making it, it a decimal like we did a few sections ago, that's going to become our new numerator. Up top, we keep our denominator still the same. Our divisor and our denominator are the same thing. We're gonna keep it that way. And there's our new mixed number. Now you may be asking, but Ms. Hanley, what about the seven? We just add plus seven. Seven plus one is eight. There's no other fraction here. So I just bring down one fourth. And that is going to be our new answer. So not only did we, we first started with this number, these problems, we found the common denominator, we multiplied the denominator and the numerator, like I did right here, and then we added, straight across, we added our whole numbers, we added our numerators, we got our answer, we kept our denominator, but then we figured out that our fraction was an improper fraction and we had to change it to a mixed number. So if you have to, if it's not a simple mixed number, you may have to change to an improper, to a, to a mixed number. Sorry guys, I cannot talk today. To a mixed number. and then you add. So I'm gonna give you a minute to look over this. If you're taking notes, that's awesome. I'll give you a minute before I erase it and we can do some together, okay?